Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we now we are working on this travel app, right? So let's try to keep this travel app aside. And I want to explain you another important concept in the React that is nothing but context API. So what is the use of this context API? So there are different ways how we can manage the states, right? So like use state, we can use it and use it user, we have used it. And like that, we have used it different ways. This context API is also is one way of maintaining the state. So where exactly this context API will be useful is, for example, let's say that here I'm having the paint, I'm opening the paint. So let's say that here we are having a component and this component will be having two components, let's say. Okay. And this one will be having another components like this and this one has an another component and this one also has three components like this so these are like this parent components and here we will be having another component and in this one we will be having component now let's assume okay so we have a state that is nothing but a is equal to 2 let's assume so this is a state variable and defined using the use state so we are having a is equal to and this data a is equal to should be used by both this component and also this component let's assume so that means the state variable a should be used by by these two child components now what we need to do so here whenever we update state here that should be reflected in this component also and whenever we update there or anything it means this should be updated here also so that means these two components should be in sync with this variable so what is the normal scenario what we will try to do so we will try to check what is the common ancestor for these two components. The common ancestor for these two components is if you go here, this is not the common parent and this is not the common parent and here this is the common parent. So now we will try to maintain this state here in this one. So we will declare here a is equal to 2 as a use state variable and now we will send this as a props to this component and here also you will send this as a props to this component and the update function and all those things also you will send it as a props. So for sending as a props to this deeper level child, so what we need to do here, we need to send it to here and as a props and this component doesn't use this one and here you need to, we need to send it to this prop and this component also doesn't have anything, just it will bypass the props to the another, to the deeper level. So here this will pass as a props here and it has passed here. In the same scenario, this is passed into this one and here like this and here like this and here like this so like this we are sending it as a props now the problem here what you will be able to observe carefully is the context api the it's not the context api sorry the state variable whichever we are trying to use it a is equal to 2 we are sending it as a props to the inner level of components and the components which are not the props which are not useful also we are trying to send it so this is not an ideal scenario so this is called normally called as an props drilling okay this is called as a props drilling so why because we are sending we are trying to send the props to the inner level so which in the intermediate props in the intermediate component doesn't have any usage of this props so now in order to overcome this scenario so what is the problem for this one is maintenance of the project will maintenance of the application will become tedious for us why because we are sending the props like that so tomorrow managing of the props or managing of the state will become tedious for us so that is the reason in order to overcome this one so the new concept has been introduced that is nothing but a context API. So what is the use of this context API and how we can use this context API? I will try to show you. So by using this context API, now let's assume that let's let's remove this all the things. So now you understood about the problem, right? The traditional way how we can send the uh, variable or anything state variable to the inner component means this is, this is the way by sending it as a props only that means props drilling we will try to do is send it to the props and that props will send that component will send the props to another component and that component will sell the props to another component so like that until and unless we win uh, until we reach the target component we will be sending that props like that only so this is called as normally this scenario is called as a props drilling so now when when you when you come to another scenario like uh, let's say that so here we are having an another component let's say i will uh, this is the another component and here we'll be having an another component okay i will draw a small diagram only and like this we are having a components like a tree, tree structure now what i want to tell so here i already told you right here we are having an a is equal to 2 and when we try to send this data to component whichever is this one is using and here this one is using 
and we need to send it as a props right so this is the common scenario there is a traditional way instead of that one so here the variable will be declared here okay and whoever wants to utilize this one directly that component can use this one using the context okay and here directly it can use Inter in intermediate so for example let, let's say that the variable should be used by this component means automatically it, it can use it through the context if that variable it is declared in the context so then we can use the directly the components which are having the child they can use it but you need to understand that you need to provide that context so that means this component should be in the context provider if it is outside the context provider means then the state variables and all those things cannot be useful so this is where we will be achieving this one so now if you try to search in the internet or anything context api i will try to show you so if you open any website here in our google like context api react if you try to search you can open w3 school so so many so many articles will be there which they will be explaining you about the context so normally the definition for this one is react context is a way to manage the state globally so this is the main thing so the state will be maintained globally so that any component whoever wants to use that state they can directly utilize that state without there is no need to pass the props to that component so without being passed to the component so directly we can manage the state it can be used together with the use state hook to share state between deeply nested components more easily than with the use state alone so then with the use state we can use the data so we can pass the data to the deeply nested components more easily previously we used to send it as a props drilling but here we can also so here you will be able to see to do this without a context you need to pass the state as a props through each nested component this is called as an props drilling so i told you about this prop drilling right i have shown you with an example not example so i shown you with the diagram also so how the without context how we will be sending that uh, state data to the deeper components with using the prop drilling so by sending the props to one and one one component to other component like that we will be sending that com that concept is called as a prop drilling so here they have given a simple example so if you want you can check it but otherwise i will i will I, i will explain you in the next video with a simple example so how we can create the context is so the normally we will be using the create context so this is the create context it should be imported from the react and we will be creating the context and whatever the data is all required so we will be using it and here we will be using some uh, some special cases like user context or provider i will explain you these all the things and we will be using the use context hook in order to uh, utilize the data that is available in the context data if in order to utilize that one we will be using the use context hook and that one is also imported from the uh, react so these are the things so create context and create uh, create context and use context is the keywords which we will be using more often in this one so in the next video what i will try to do is i will try to implement a simple counter example so that you will be able to understand very easily about the context api so this is the brief introduction about the context api if you want to know more details about this one so you can search in the google and you can find the examples for this one all so it's not a matter so you will be able to understand it so in the next video we'll try to see with a simple example so that you will be having a clear understanding about this one so that's it guys about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you hi guys this is leela welcome to my channel leela web dev so in this video we will learn about the practical implementation of this context api so in the previous video we have learned about the con uh, definition of this context api when in which scenario we will be using this context api so i will try to generate the scenario which we will be uh, which we will be having a case to use this context so then afterwards we will be able to understand it very easily with the example and then afterwards we will move uh, move to our original application that is nothing but travel application so here i am creating a new app that is nothing but npm create wheat at the rate latest okay so it will ask you some series of questions like uh, project name and the uh, framework which ever you are trying to use and which language you are using you want to use these all the uh, questions it will ask so and we need to uh, we need to answer one by one step one then afterwards it will create the project so let's take a look at that one so it here it has asked you to use a uh, project name so i will be using counter context okay so i will be using a simple name sorry counter counter context okay so i am using this sorry counter context okay this is our so just i am using a counter example only i don't want to and here it is asking you the framework react and the language is javascript that's it so let's go on to the counter context 
and here I will be running the npm install so it will install all the dependencies uh, which are available in the packages like react and all react and all those things so it may take some time depending on your internet connection or the network connection so if you are having faster internet means it will be installed very fast so let me take some time so let's wait for that one so here the packages has been successfully installed so I will be opening this one in our uh, Visual Studio code, the code, the project and here I will run the server, so npm run dev and here if you try to see, uh, this is the project structure which you will be able to see and here if I open and this is our app.jsx file, okay and for this one we need to open the Chrome browser, Let, let's open the Chrome browser and we will see the output for that one so here the project has been started so what I will try to do is I will remove this entire uh, app.jsx code okay and here uh, what I will do is let's save this one and uh, let's go to our code and in this source I am creating a new file that is nothing but sorry not new folder new file that is nothing but counter.jsx counter.jsx okay so this is our simple counter and here I will be having export constant counter is equal to and here I will return counter okay so here we will be having it like this and we need to export default counter okay sorry counter and I am exporting and this is our constant export default counter and here in our uh, thing what I can do here here I can directly use this counter counter I am using this counter that's it now if you try to see the output we will be able to see the output counter at the center so we are having some CSS predefined CSS so which we are getting it from the wheat now I don't want to remove those all things in the index.css app.css I am not removing it. if you want to remove it you can remove it and here I want to have a counter so I want to show the counter and I need to have some buttons okay so let's assume that we have a buttons and here I will create an another component that is nothing but counter buttons counter buttons dot jsx okay so here for this one constant counter buttons so however you want you can do it so here previously we used to do export default function right so this is also one in the same only that one is in es6 syntax counter buttons and here it should be default always yeah and here i will return you so counter buttons and here I want to import this one in our counter so here I want to use this here in our counter buttons that's it so here you'll be able to see the counter buttons also now I want to show the counter so here uh, what I want to do is so here uh, we are having a count and let's say that we are having some functions like function increment and I want to increment the counter set count of count count plus one I'll be using it like this and in the same scenario here decrement decrement count count to minus one so here we are having function and I will be having a last that is nothing but reset so here we will be using set count of zero so that's it so now we have used it like this and now here we are having one used state variable and we are having these functions now i need to send it to the counter okay let's send it as an count is equal to count and here i will be having increment increment is equal to increment and the last one is decrement we will be having it as an decrement and the last one is uh, reset so we will be having is a reset so these are the reset count increment decrement and reset now we are sending it as a props so here in our counter we need to capture these props so i am destructuring it count i got it and increment i got it and decrement i got it and the last one is the reset i got it okay and here uh, here i would need to show one count so here i will show the count so here i am showing the count zero we are able to show it and counter buttons so in these buttons we are having this increment so we need to send this one as an increment increment is equal to 
increment and decrement is equal to decrement and the reset is equal to reset so we are using like this and now in the counter buttons we need to capture those things so those are nothing but increment decrement and reset okay and here we need to have a buttons three types of buttons so like like button increment and another one is decrement and the last one is the reset okay so these are the three buttons which you will be able to see here the buttons and for this one on click so when i click on this one so it should change so here on click i need to call the increment method so that in the parent component this will be executed in the same scenario here you can write on click is equal to decrement sorry decrement and here also you can use on click reset so we are using it like this so now if i click on this one increment it is incrementing if i click on this one it is decrementing and if i click on the reset it is getting reset so it is making it a zero so this is the simple example which we have implemented it so here the uh, red marks why it is coming is we need to write the prop type validation so you know about the prop type validation how to write it so i am not writing it here in our travel app we are writing the prop type validations but here i am not implementing it okay leave it so now in order to if you try to see here in our inspect element in this one let's go to the components yeah here if you try to see here this is our app component okay in this app component if you try to see here this is our app component in this app component we are having a state variable and also three uh, functions that is nothing but increment decrement and the reset button and now this counter we are sending as a props these three things these four count increment decrement and reset these three methods which we are trying to use it increment decrement reset is not used by this component only the count variable is used by this component so that means sending the props for this one is okay but here increment decrement reset why we are sending it to here means in order to use it by the counter buttons so the buttons is having the all the related logic in this one so for sending this increment decrement and reset uh, logic into this counter buttons so in the intermediate we need to send it bypass through the counter and then only we are sending it to the counter button so this is called as a prop drilling so now uh, today we are having only three components nested deep components but tomorrow if you are having so many deep components means like this the increment function should be passed one step one step below like this to the end of that to the target component we need to send it like this so this will be a tedious for us in order to maintain the code also it will be a tedious for us in order to overcome this scenario we will be using this context api in the next video we will try to refactor this one and we will try to remove this props drilling thing and we will implement the context api concept so how the how the life or otherwise how the code will become easily maintainable with the usage of this context api i will try to show you in the next video so for this one what i will do is i will commit this entire code in our uh, new branch that is nothing but video iphone 133 so this is our 133 video and i will commit this entire thing so whoever may be having doubts or any refer the code means so you can take the the github repository url is provided in the description below you can have a take a look at that one and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel so thank you guys so i am committing this entire code so i am publishing this branch also so whoever may be having notes they can look at that one so in the next video we will see about the context api implementation in this in the same project we'll try to do it then afterwards we'll shift to the travel app hi guys this is leela welcome to my channel leela webdev so we have implemented the counter context a simple example right so now this one we are able to see that we are trying to uh, send the props into a com multiple components so here we are having counter.jsx and counter.jsx doesn't use any increment decrement reset methods and it is sending a, in return sending this one to the counter buttons so if you try to see here counter buttons now in overcome uh, in order to overcome this scenario like props drilling so we will be using this context api so how we can implement this context api in this one let's try to see and also the commonly used pattern with using the custom hook and all those things how we can implement it i will try to show you so here if you try to see in this one app.jsx right so in order to create this one so what we can do it is so here we need to create a context so here i will be creating so now this one is related to the counter right counter context so i will be creating it like something like counter context dot js so this is our js file and here so we will be creating a context so that is nothing but context 
counter context is equal to create context okay we need to create the context by default if you want to mention any default values you can mention it or otherwise you can mention it as a null so this is our counter context <coughs> now what we are able to see so we have created a counter create context right now let's go to the app.jsx file so now here we need to use the context thing so for in order to use this context what i need to do so here i can create uh, so we, we there is no need to provide create anything and here we need to provide counter context counter context only right so here we are not exporting okay we need to export so export constant i am exporting this counter context now for this one counter context so we are not getting why we are not getting so i think counter context okay let's import this counter context import from counter context and here it needs to be imported counter context so okay we have created with a short name okay let's leave let's we'll give it like that only counter context dot provider so we are providing the details so here also we need to write in such a way that counter context dot provider so we have written it like this now we need to provide the values so whatever the things we are uh, required here we need to provide the values the things which we are trying to send it as a props is count increment decrement and reset right okay let's try to have a values something like this an object and we need to send the count increment and we need to send the decrement and the last one is the reset so we are sending these values so here you will be having an attribute that is nothing but value is equal to we will be sending this like this now we are sending the provider con context provider and now whatever the values are there in this one so whatever the components declared in this one so you can directly use those all things so here i will be removing this one all so in the counter let's go to the counter now we are not sending any props here we need to use the prop uh, you need to use the context so in order to use this one so context so here i can write is equal to use context so we need to use the hook use context and here you need to write the which context i need to use so we have created the counter context right counter context that's it and now here in this one what is the variable we are trying to use it that is nothing but count so i can use this count and in this counter buttons there is no need to mention these all values and now let's go to the counter buttons and here so we need to use the increment decrement and the reset so okay let's try to remove these all props now here also we will be using constant is equal to use context of counter context we need to use the counter context i am using this counter context and here i need to write in such a way that increment decrement and the reset so we are using these three things that's it so now we have implemented this counter.jsx and here we need to write constant so now we have implemented the same thing now if you try to uh, see the output see the same output we am able to produce it but this time we are using the context api now we are not sending any uh, what i want to say is we are not sending any props to any component so we are just directly sending it to the context and we are using it now here what we have did it in our counter co counter context.js so here we have created a context and in this one we are doing this context provider so for which values we need to send it here we are providing the context provider and we are sending all the values which are is necessary for this one and here in our counter on counter context uh, sorry in our counter buttons so we are using this use context hook in order to get these all the values and in counter.jsx also we are using the use context so this is how we will be implementing the use context normally in the real time scenarios if you have doubt so in real time scenarios how we will be implementing this one is so we'll implement in a different way so using the custom provider and also a custom hook we will create the context and we'll do it i will try to show you that scenario also so this is our uh, counter context.js right so let's try to rename with a jsx thing so why because we'll create a component here that is our custom hook so here i'll be creating this custom hook <coughs> now here what i will try to do is so here uh, export constant counter context okay so this is the thing and there is no need to export this one why because so create context we will be using it here only and counter context what i will try to do so this is a method 
and here you will be getting the props that is nothing but the children so we will take the children and here i will be writing that context provider so here i will be writing context um, counter context sorry counter context dot provider and here we need to send the values okay let's try to um, send these all the values so here you will be having these are all the things okay and in this one i will write the children so this is our thing and i need to return this value so return this one so this is our custom hook and now what i will try to do instead of using this one counter context and let's go to the app.jsx and here uh, there is no need to use this counter context why because it will not be available and here i can wrap this one with a counter context here like this so here also i will wrap this one and whatever the data is there inside this one it will be sent now here i will send it now this contract these all the values are these all the methods and all those things re is related to this context so what can i do i can copy these all the things i can remove this one from the app so there is no need for us right why because these are all related to the context let's go to the count and here let's create this all the things custom hook now this use state should be imported from the react that's it and these values we need to send it to here so value is equal to values that's it finish now we got this in our app.js counter context so here we are showing it and now if i refresh this page now we got some error <clears throat> let's see what could be this issue okay we are using this uh, counter.jsx these all the things right so here we are using this use context counter context so let's try to export this one also uh, for the time being let's say and now hopefully we should be able to see the output yeah now if i click here then also i'm able to see the output now we have removed all the content to the counter context now i don't want to expose this one why because in in the counter.js i am using this use context and here also i am using this use context and counter context is all the things we are using it right and here i am can create a uh, something like uh, export constant counter <coughs> uh, or otherwise custom use counter i will create it like this and here this is our thing and here what i will try to do is uh, constant context is equal to create context sorry uh, use context use context not use counter use context sorry uh, use context only use context of counter context right so we need to use this counter context <coughs> so where is this one so oh, this is the thing we need to use it and here uh, what i can do is i can remove this one and counter context provider counter context and this one is the uh, um, on text we'll see or otherwise we'll keep it like this only why because these both are looking context uh, here uh, instead of having this one we need to create something like um, counter provider okay this one will be very nice now here we will be having use context and we will return this context return this context sorry i will return this context now there is no need for us to export this one counter provider is there in our app.js so here i can write it something like counter provider okay and here also i will write counter provider and uh, yeah so let's import this counter provider now <coughs> what i want to do is so counter text this one is completed use counter is completed and uh, we are having this all things and now there is no need for us this context context thing i can remove this context thing and here instead of using this one i can use the use counter directly use counter that's it so now i can remove this one and there is no need for us to use this use context also and i can remove this one also and here also in our counter buttons i can remove this one and i can use this instead of using this use context use counter that's it now here also i can remove this context thing and also i can remove this import and also i can remove this use counter that's it now if you try to see the output then also we will be able to see the same output it will work fine so in real time scenario you'll be using it like this now it looks very simple so this counter context has its own data and here we are using so if whenever you want to use it directly you can use this counter provider 
and wherever you want this one use counter and also here also you can use this use counter and you, there is nowhere we are using this context api use context context provider these all things we are not using directly we are using in our main file this is nothing but counter context so like this we will be creating the context api this is the advanced pattern which we will be using in the react js so what i will try to do is i will commit this entire code in our uh, video hyphen 134 and here i will commit this entire code okay this is nothing but the context provider and use context thing so whoever may be having doubts or anything so if they want to refer this code so it is provided in the description below the link so you can uh, clone the uh, code and you can check it and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you